Welcome to Four Winds Wellness Podcast. You are listening to Lakota John sharing universal concepts of spirituality. To listen to more podcasts or find out about us, visit our website www.fourwindswellness.org or subscribe on Podbean. We are regularly adding new podcasts, so tune in to hear the latest. What's the worth of a soul? True. Well, I'll share a story with you. I had a guy come to my home when I was doing a construction project. And he asked me for a loan. He was a painter. And I said, well, what do you need? He says, oh, I just need $150. And I, I gave him 150 bucks. He says, I'll come back and help you paint this tomorrow. I was prepping the windows and different things, and he never showed up. So I started thinking a little bit. I just probably supplied his drug habit is what I did. And I started thinking, you know, he's just a dirty scoundrel. And judgment started kicking in. So I thought, okay, you know what? He'll get his in the end. Two days later, I get a phone call from his uncle or someone in his family and said, hey, so-and-so's in the hospital and asked if you would come by and give him a blessing and to work on him, to help him get through what he's going through. So I thought, really? Do I need to stop what I'm doing and go over there and help somebody that just crapped on me for 150 bucks? And so I'm driving and I tell him, heck no, I'm not going over there to help this individual. He could literally die. I, I don't care. That's his journey. And I hung the phone up. As, as I was driving, seconds after I said that, the spirit came over me so strong and said, what is the worth of a soul? And I started to weep as I was driving. And the Spirit said, there isn't even a price on that individual and soul. And I'll tell you what, I was chastened by the Creator. And I called them back. And I said, I'm making a U-turn. What room is he in? And I went there and helped the individual. And at that given point in life, a good part of me wanted to just say, you can just die in your misery. But the Creator said, what was the worth of his soul? And to me, when people come and ask for things or or work, I can't say no, because I go back to that time and say, what is the worth of a soul? And to me, there is no price on it. So, in life, it's about getting out of yourself and ministering to the people on a soul level. Because remember, the soul, what is the soul? The soul is the breath. When the Creator breathed into woman and man, they became the living soul. It's a gift. And I can't deny you of that gift. If you're at soul loss, how can I deny you the gift of finding that soul? How can I do that? When the Creator gave it to us, so it's up to me to give it to you. Does it come with a price? Well, was I going to say, well, $150 he owes me? Hey, uh, while you're laying in that medical room because you've had this massive heart attack, I'm sorry, but you need to pay me my $150 bucks first before I even think about helping you. You get what I'm saying? When you've seen somebody laying there with tubes in his nose and he made a mistake. And with that mistake, it brought me to using what I have inside me And everything the Creator blessed me with to give Him back that gift of life in that soul. To reclaim that. 
Well, today the guy is still clean and sober because of that one experience in the hospital to call his soul back and help him go through the restoration of reclaiming the soul. Because that's where soul loss takes place. And when your soul leaves, when you do things contrary to your internal belief, you split your soul. And you spend the rest of your life on this planet trying to get it back. That's why I say when somebody goes through a fall and they hit the ground, either they're going to bounce back up, dust themselves off and move forward, or they're going to stay on the ground. So to me, life is about jumping back on your feet and going another round. It's like a boxer. Instead, we're just boxing with the unseen enemy. We don't know where these punches are going to come from, but when they come, they hurt. And you hit the ground or you jump back up or you stay on the ground and take more. And that's really reclaiming your soul. I know a lot of people out there they let other people walk all over them, and that's because they've went through soul loss, and they believe within their own belief system that they're not good enough. So what do they do? They just let people walk on them. So what's the worth of a soul? Everything. In my world, everything that I have. Conducting ceremony, doing whatever. That's, to me, it's the way it has to go down. Because at the end of the day, you're going to meet them again. And they're going to say, wow, you didn't even come and help me over $150. But when you meet them again, they'll be on the other side maybe. And then you'll go back and say, well, how can I make it right? Well, you can't because you don't have a body anymore. And, th and that experience is done. But still, there's still division between me and the individual that I was supposed to help. And that's why I don't hold back. Because I know I'm going to see you again. And it might not be on this side. It'll be on the other side. And you'll say, well, was I that bad that you had to hold this from me? And now here I am, still in my misery, because I don't have the body to fulfill my addiction. And you had the tools to help me overcome it. Why didn't you help me? I wouldn't want that on my shoulders. And that's the way I live my life. Somebody comes and needs my help, you bet. I'll help you. But I'm sure not going to carry you. I'm going to give you some tools. You're going to roll up your sleeves. I'm going to give you a pick and shovel and you're going to dig for it. And when you find it, it's yours. And you go out and do the same and give it to somebody else. And that's what creates a better place on this planet.